I've never heard that, but you know, that's the origin of cap. Um, I'm gonna to to look this up. I'm gonna look. There, there's a principle that right. we have to follow. Yeah. You have to have. You know, be true to yourself. You know, you don't have. To. And when I came back, the place was a mess, so I knew I was a mess. Deep in here now. Now it's this incredible. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Me that's too. Good. Yeah. That's good. And, yeah, yeah. And applying the recovery out there. A strip club. <laughs> yeah, right beside you. <laughs> Good morning, everybody out there in the world today. Are you stuck? Hey, good morning, everybody out there in the ether planet Earth. It's your favorite Martian, Travis, here with my favorite astronaut, Jesse, and my second favorite Martian, Stu, and Steve over there, engineer Steve. We got our producer, Olaf. He's sitting in the cut. He's done so well at his job today, preparing us for the podcast today. And we got a very special guest. I mean, it's one of my... One of my um, close associates. I, I, I love seeing him around here. He's always got like a lot of good energy coming off. I took the um, FPR S class under him. And then uh, actually when I was on the way over here, I forgot what the F stand for. I was like going through my <laughs> mental Rolodex. I was like F, F, fiduciary. And then it came to me, forensic. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The training kicked in right when it needed to. Say say what's up to everybody. Our special guest, Dawu. Oh, all right, hold on, hold on. Uh, Sorry. I wasn't stuck. I just wanted you to do your little introduction. Oh, 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 oh. it looked like you were stuck in time. You, you really, I was going you, you an assist. You, you really, you're really proud of that introduction. And you <laughs> yeah. like it, so well, I, I, just, it. I don't want. Yeah, I, didn't, I, I just <laughs> want you to do it. Um, before yeah, we thanks. before we get into um to Dawu and our special guest, we do want to um give a shout out to our sponsors. Um, up first is the Farley Center. Farley Center is a uh, local treatment center, actually located in Williamsburg, Virginia. They got a couple other um, operations throughout the state of Virginia. Um, but if you're interested in um, getting a loved one some treatment services for substance use disorder and our mental health, give Kelly Eason a call. Her number is 804-638-7329. They take all commercial insurances. So give them a call. 804-638-7329. Mention code McShin and she might move a little faster. All right. A little, a little faster. <laughs> respect the name. Put some respect on the name. And our <laughs> next one up is the Rooted Hair Studio. Rooted Hair Studio is located in Prince, well, Colonial Heights, Virginia, actually right off the boulevard. I took my daughter there. I'm getting ready to take her there for her birthday. She wants to get some more highlights and a cut. And all I got to do is mention code McShin and get a 10% discount. So if you're looking to get your hair did, hair done, 804-919-3851. Give them a call. Set up an appointment, um, email scrolling across the screen. Mention code McShin to get 10% off, 10% off to get your hair done. Get that 10% off. It's expensive out there. Everything. Everything. Been is, to the grocery store lately? Hair, well, you hair, hair, getting your hair done. some cottage cheese. It was like 100 bucks. I'm like, God. <laughs> what cottage cheese did you get? I don't <laughs> know. It just seemed like that. Once you break 100, it's gone. You ever notice which, that? Um, which cottage cheese do you like? Do you like the low fat? Uh, yeah, I like the, the I like the 2%. 2%? The low yeah, 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 yeah. And I like that's, to eat it straight yeah, up. Yeah, it's usually oh, the one I like, 2%. But I, I got to put cut. some fruit in there. Yeah, oh, you do? Peaches, you go peaches, strawberries, uh, don't matter. Peaches, strawberries. All right, what new thing I get is so they have this jello that's sugar free. Um, I get sugar-free oh, jello, yes. jelly, it sugar-free there. jelly. Told me that. Yes, Put it in there. It's really good. Sugar-free jelly. Sugar-free um, jelly. I'm, I'm gonna go that route. All right. Um. Hey, good morning, Timothy. Um. Got to get you back on here. Um. Mr. Glenn. Um. All right. And th- real quick, want to give an- another shout out to our um our other sponsor, which is the, the Seed, Seed Institute. Institute. Seed Institute is um they're uh, Richmond locally owned uh, Richmond here in Richmond. They um specialize in helping individuals. Um, set up LLCs and they help with trainings. Um, so if you're interested, give um, give them a call 804-939-0541. I do know that, um, and I need to check into this because um, I, I think the owner has gotten pretty sick. So um, I'm not. I, I'm gonna check on that, y'all. But um, if you know if you're interested in um, you know, in some trainings and uh, maybe starting up LLC, you can give them a call and see. And if if there um, you know, if there's some issues going on, we we will let you know with um this um. Uh, uh, services that they offer. And then up, up next, we got a new sponsor and actually um, he, he's our guest as well. Um, he's um, you're the owner of Deter, right? De- I right? am. Yep. Yeah. So um, D- Deter, D E T E R is um, our new sponsor of the podcast. They will um, be sponsoring us. Um, uh, so um, I'm going to let, you know, when we, when we start the interview, Dawu, Dawu's going to talk a little bit about um, um, Deter Deter. and, um, you know, what it stands for and what they do and the services they offer. But before we get to that, um, 
you know, we just want to do uh, some quick, um, brief introductions, check-ins. Um, um, one of them back there is Stu. Can, Stu. We, can we rotate the cameras? We can't rotate the Stu. cameras. We Stu. don't have the remote. Stu, Stu almost should have, get into the camera. You I should love have, you. there he is, my man, <laughs> Stu. We should have um, Olaf with like a camera over there. We can move it. That's yeah. a good idea. And just shine it right on his we face. Got, we got a lot of cameras now. All of our sponsorships have really panned out because we have um, – a few cameras yeah. so um we wanted to make sure Stu got on there everybody knows steve steve's the man the myth the legend um behind that camera but now he can be seen yeah, yeah. and the one camera yeah, yeah. amazing the one camera camera angle. Angle. that's three a serious camera cameras, cameras yeah. mm-hmm. um and then <laughs> <laughs> and then over there we have um olaf olaf um Olaf is intently. See, no camera, no camera. To, no, no camera for Olaf. Olaf, why you, have you been? You haven't been crying, have you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you watch soap operas this morning? What's going on? Your eyes just look a little off today. Yeah, they look a little. What happened yesterday at the golf course? Is that bad? Yeah, Did Grant win? Mm-hmm. No, there were, there is no winners and losers in that There's game. No yesterday. winners and losers in golf. golf? Well, yeah, not yesterday. There was just fun. <laughs> yesterday okay. was fun. Okay. okay. Yesterday. Grant won. I'm pretty sure. Mm, yeah, he kind of went off a little there at the end. I wouldn't say that he won. So I mean, we so did, we did pretty good on the first three holes or whatever like that. I'm, I mean, I'm confused. What are y'all playing? There's always a winner. We're playing for commandos. Like whatever. I'm there's always a winner. Yeah. yeah. So okay. who did the most commandos? Well, you know, we we're, we haven't paid up yet. I can't remember. <laughs> we're doing it like the roach spray runs. Like oh. I pretend, yeah, yeah, and they fall on their back. Oh. Eh, like oh. a dead roach. Oh. Yeah, we're going to be doing those periodically throughout the day. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, roach. I go dead roach. I like it better than dog scooch. You, you know, know what I mean? Because like I say, nah, no, no Beyonce's, no, no, no <laughs> donkey butts. <laughs> We'd have to do them on this table on national television. And on oh, people are like, what are they talking oh, about? <laughs> Give are me two right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Two Beyonce's right yeah, now. Two Beyonce's so, right now. I remember somebody did that when we were betting. I was like, what? Yeah. I would do a Beyonce. Well, why do you here. take that bet? There's, yeah. there's that no is, way. There's no yeah, way. They make you take your shirt and like fold it in like this and tie it down. <laughs> <laughs> now get up there and be somebody. <laughs> I remember I, I got someone else. I, I was like, well, I don't know. What's a Beyonce? You got to show me. Like, a Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> Olaf, you know what a Beyonce is? <laughs> Hit us a Beyonce. Show what it is. I don't know what it is. Hit it on national television. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> um, all right, you all right over there? You all right? Okay. Your eyes are just a little, little red. So I just want to make sure you're all right there. Allergies. And so Allergies. He doesn't have his glasses on. Need some flow names or something. What do those um those glasses look like leaving a load in Las Vegas? <laughs> Fear and loathing. Yeah. Looks like that one dude. Yeah. Johnny Johnny Depp or was it? Mm, uh, dang. Who, who did he play? Hunter S. Thompson. Hunter S. Thompson. Yeah. yeah. Hunter S. Thompson. I love the lawyer. Yeah. 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 The, yeah, yeah, lawyer. yeah the lawyer. Right. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Doctor Gonzo. Doctor Gonzo. Yes. Yeah. It came to me. It took a minute. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Dabu, you ain't never watched that movie, man. Stop that. Dabu loves Fear and Loathing. I am thinking about uh-huh. The Hangover. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Told you you didn't watch that movie. <laughs> kind of <laughs> close. Kind of close. A little more psychedelic. I mean, it goes down. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> In the same vein. Lizard people. Yeah, lizard people. Partying. A lot of partying going on. A lot of partying. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And then we got our special guest, Dabu, man. Um, Dabu, I've been knowing you for a minute. Um, Love you to death, man. You're a heck of a dude, man. You got a real, 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 real good story, man. I don't know if everybody's heard this and that's in this room um, that has heard a story. Um, you know, the things that have happened to him and what you've been able to overcome and, and do. Um, I, I kind of wanted just to start out with that, man. You know, um, tell us tell us about, you know, you, you know, um, you know what happened to you, man, because you got a hell of a story. Hey, man, I, I, by the grace of a loving higher power, mm. I am here. Um. It took me a long time to get here, a long time, a long process. And for anybody hearing this who's new in recovery, trust that process. It works. It really, really does. Um, From prison, but before prison, I was in prison. Hmm. I was highly addicted, highly in bondage to myself and to my selfishness. And it really, really... Let me let me let me go back even further. Uh, come from a family of seven girls. I'm the only male. You got seven sisters. Seven sisters. Mm. That was tough. Yeah, it was because my mother. I heard my mother once say, 
my son could do no wrong. So I tested that theory mm. by getting into as much trouble as I possibly could. <laughs> <laughs> Test the limits. Test the limits, right? Let's and see if you mean that, Mom. See if I mean that. How much do you love me? Yes, yeah. how much? So then one day, uh, truant from school, and this is where it started. Truant from school, they arrested me. In New York, they had truancy, mm -hmm. right? Where if they saw kids on the streets, you were arrested. They called your parents. My mother said, you keep it. Mm. Where would you, where'd you grow up at? In Bronx. In the Bronx? Okay. In the Bronx, 149th Street and Grand Concourse. Uh, That's my street. Yeah, That's you hear that in the movies a lot. I mean, I do anyway. Yeah. Um, not too far from Yankee <laughs> Stadium. Yeah. The original Yankee Stadium. Yankee Stadium. So yeah. what, what um, throughout, throughout high school and middle school there? Throughout high school, middle school, drugs. Mm -hmm. and, and in New York. In New York. Okay. Uh, got highly addicted to heroin in the 70s, mm -hmm. where heroin was very Ooh. popular in New York. Yeah. Uh, for the veterans from Vietnam War and things like that, they were coming home. So it was a new trend. Everybody was doing it. Mm -hmm. I just went in with a friend to get some weed. And the next thing I know, I was coming out and I was shooting up. Mm. Oh, how old were you? 12. 12 years old, man. Damn. You remind me of this book I read um, when I was in juvenile. I think it was like Life is Like a Sandwich or something about this guy who started shooting up when he was 11 years old. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't peer pressure. It wasn't any of those things. It was, I didn't feel like I fit in. Mm. So I wanted to be accepted. And that's what everyone else was doing. So I decided, okay, let me give this a try. And that first hit, it's still there. Mm. That first injection. Because he didn't inject in my arm. He said, take your shoes off. Let me show you how you can really get a nice high. And went between my big toe. What, it hit you quicker there? It hit me. It immediately? Hit immediately. <laughs> <laughs> because it was... It, it it he didn't want me to have marks on my arms. Oh, you yeah, you were trying to hide it. Yeah. Trying to hide it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh and I wouldn't let him shoot me in my butt. Yeah, yeah, that. I wouldn't want to go that didn't way either. That. Yeah. 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 I'll didn't take the big that. toe. I'll take the big toe. <laughs> Shot it in. And um my <laughs> <Me too. laughs> yeah. the, the role of how it creeped up my body yeah, from yeah. my feet. <clears throat> mm -hmm. They say, you know, um, that what you're talking about, like um, that first time, like ever, and this is probably with any drug, like, first mm -hmm. time smoking crack, mm -hmm. like the first time you get that ear ringing, like you're just chasing it the rest of the time. That first time you shoot some dope and you get that, like what you're talking about, the mm -hmm. rush all mm -hmm. the way up. It's like you spend the rest of your life chasing, chasing that, that first that's right. feeling because right. it's never, it never comes back like that first it time. It never does. And I tried every toe to, to try that, to get mm. that very first one. And then uh, I was 15 when I tried the back. Some, somebody did something about the back of my said to your heel and the bottom of your right foot. Mm. And I guess I'm still hiding. I'm still hiding. But um, I'm starting to feel the serious effects of that real heroin. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Ron. Yeah. Now, I know what a what an interesting situation too. You go in to get a joint or whatever. You're like, whatever, man. I'm gonna do it and laugh with some friends, get some hot dogs or whatever. And then and the guy's like, hey, take your shoe off. I got something better. Hey, buddy. Try this out. It's Try this out. out. That's yeah, right. It's yeah. a little different. Yeah, he probably was he was he older too? Again? He was older. Yeah. Old older dude. Older, older dude. Older good so, friend. Well, good I don't friend. know if he was a good yeah, friend. Well, <laughs> well, it's a good acquaintance. It was a good acquaintance. Yeah. He was a good acquaintance. Yeah. Uh, but what he was thinking, I'm gonna get this 12 year old some. Shot of dope. Yeah, take your shoes off. <laughs> no, I asked them what was the best way where my mom and my dad could. Oh see yeah, it. yeah, I you got know. you. Yeah, he said, "Well, let me see your feet." Yeah, and took the shoe off. He said, "Right between my toes." Yeah, hmm. yeah, hmm. he knew what he was so, doing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you was off to the races after off to that. the races. So what, was it like that? No, I mean, like after that, when you were like, oh, I was, yeah, I mean, hit that off again. It was gone. It was gone. I got. I got down to 75 pounds. Yeah. What were you doing for this? Like, uh, like saving your lunch money or whatever? Like 12 year old kid? No. 
<laughs> what I started, what I actually, what I actually started, what I actually started doing was running errands for all the little uh, Portuguese store owners. Yeah, bodegas or whatever. No, they call them bodegas now. Bodegas. They won't call bodegas back then. Yeah, uh, there was the Portuguese word for that owner. <laughs> store, or whatever. <laughs> store, corner store, corner store. <laughs> what, what were they called? What were they called back then? Uh, they were called bodos. Oh, bodos. 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 So and you would run errands. I run errands for them, and most of them were, had had organized crime ties. So I would run their errands, and they would pay me a little money. And that's also the way I covered what I was doing with my family, because I can always get credit there. So whenever we couldn't eat or food wasn't in the house, I could get stuff on credit without letting my mother think that I was stealing. Hmm. Yeah. Did you? Were you still going to school? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 You yeah. were juggling a lot there. I was juggling a lot because in New York in the wintertime when there's seven feet of snow, yeah, <laughs> we were off to the races every morning. Oh, yeah. you can't stay in the house. Yeah. But I was getting sick. That morning sickness started. Oh, kicking yeah, in. yeah, yeah, yeah. Started kicking in, started kicking in, started. It got really, really bad. Um, my sisters knew. My older sister really knew. But mom didn't. She, she's just he's just sick. Yeah, you come in a long line of like people like me and Jesse just can't save that morning shot, huh? Sure can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. sure can. Was <laughs> can never, ne never could. Was um, yeah. was anybody else in your family uh, uh addict? No, I was the only addict at the time. But later on, I found out after I was incarcerated, after I went to prison, um, my sister started experimenting. Oh, okay, where'd you go to um prison at? Like, we'll, we'll talk about that. What happened? All right. So uh. December 15th, 1990. No, mm -hmm. December 11th, 1990. I was arrested and charged with armed robbery, attempted murder, and uh, possession of a f possession of a firearm, but I had no firearm. Mm -hmm. I had a was, knife. Was that in New York or in No, Virginia? that was in Virginia. Yeah, so how did you end up making your way down to Virginia? Uh, one of my sisters decided that she was in the military, she was in the Navy. So down in Norfolk, we went down, came, she brought me down to Norfolk, thinking that that would take me away from the streets and yeah. everything, right? Geographical change. Yeah, yeah. But it didn't because it was still in me. Yeah. And my craving got bigger when I started seeing on, on the bases guys getting high. Yeah. So I said, okay, all right, this is a little change, but they're slow. Yeah. So now my New York manipulation goes and kicks in. Yeah. <laughs> trying to say, you trying to say, what you trying to say? Down south. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm trying. We're, we're, we're just I, hospitality. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. trying. I'm I got trying good manners. To, yeah. We're just polite. That's all that is. I'm trying to say in the, in the, in the 80s, Norfolk yeah. was a different thing. Yeah. Yeah. They they uh because you met guys from all over the world on the military bases, mm -hmm. and they were from Kansas, Wyoming, from everywhere wanting to get high or get a girl or something like that. So I started doing that. Yeah. Uh, uh, my street name was Skinny Pimp. Mm. Skinny Pimp. Skinny Pimp. Yeah, because I was a skinny dude, mm. but I always knew where all the good drugs was. I always knew where the girls were. Yeah. You know, so I entertained them. You were plugged in. Plugged in. There goes Skinny Kip, uh, Pimp. <laughs> Look at Skinny Pimp. <laughs> Coming up the <laughs> Skinny Pimp. There goes Skinny Pimp. So... <laughs> It was one guy. It was yeah, one guy who bell bottoms and um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. bell platform, yeah, yeah. platform shoes, shoes. Platform shoes right. with yeah. the fish right. fish tanks in them. No, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> it was one guy who I went and got some um, some work for, and uh, he OD. He died mm -hmm. right there in front of me. And uh, military guy, military. Yeah, and it was it was a bad experience trying to explain it. Yeah, to the police, to the MPs. Oh, the MPs. Uh, yeah. Well, what had it happened? Was on was, the base. Yeah. What had happened was, <laughs> you know, I don't know what happened. Know what happened. <laughs> didn't know what happened. Yeah. So, um, nineteen December fifteenth, nineteen ninety-three. Um, I'm arrested outside Little Creek Amphibious Base. In so Norfolk. it was the feds. That right? Did you go to fed? Feds? No. Oh, okay. No. Uh, it was outside the base. It was outside the base, yeah, right. but it was in proximity of the base because <clears throat> the person who said I robbed him was a naval lieutenant. Mm. And um, his wife was shot 
and the jury was taken. Mm. I was just not there. I was high with a bottle of naughty hair with a pill of dope. Mm. Naughty hair somewhere <laughs> else. Oh, for, for those who don't know yeah, what naughty hair is, <laughs> it's, it's gin. Yeah, that good ting. No, 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 no. Seagram's. That Seagram's, good Seagram's that's gin. Right, that's yeah. right. Seagram's yeah, gin. nothing like a hot Seagram's drink out of the trunk of a car on a July <laughs> oh, yeah. morning that's to get right. your day going. To get your day going. <laughs> Sound like your dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they arrested. Christmas trees. They, they, arrested, <laughs> they arrested me and took me in front of the, of the lieutenant. And uh, the lieutenant said, yeah, that's him. And he told me later that he thought I was the one because I was the one who was bleeding from my head because the police had beat me, mm. thinking I had shot this woman. Mm -hmm. So go to court. In Norfolk? In Norfolk. Go to court. Sentenced to 75 years without the possibility of parole. 75 years. Without the possibility of parole. Three quarters. Um, Good grief. Did your knees go weak? Um, I didn't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I, you, you disassociated. Know, everything, everything got. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. I really did. I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't phantom what he was saying, without the possibility of release, without the possibility of parole. Mm. You know, and uh, deep down inside, you were like, "Well, I didn't do this. I wasn't even. Yeah, I wasn't even involved in this. I've done a lot of stuff, but it wasn't. But this I one. wasn't this one, <laughs> right? Ooh. So it was. Um, I went, the, my first prison stint was uh, Powhatan Correctional Center. Been there. Oh, Powhatan. I just was listening to this guy. Um, Banky is his name. Um, he has a podcast, and he was talking about Powhatan, how it was called the Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. Back in the day. That's Particularly right. back right. then, yeah. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> that's where I did, started, and then they sent me to Gladiator School, Southampton. 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 Yeah. So every, th every day was a fight. Yeah, how old are you around this time? Ninety three. I'm just to put some perspective on it. I'm in my twenties. Yeah, because I was going to say when I was twenty and we pulled up to Powhatan and yeah. you know you go through the fence and it was yeah. just so imposing. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a scary feeling. Yeah, so Powhatan yeah. is like um for the for the viewers and anybody listening, Powhatan is like one of the oldest prisons. I think the wall was, was the oldest. oldest. Spring yeah. Street, and then yeah. Powhatan is like behind it. And so like when you think of an old prison. It's like old, old gates, yeah, bars, yeah, brick, everything. Big, brick, yeah, it's not like I'm, that. I'm talking about inside. You screw the light bulbs in That's for your right. light. I mean, That's it's right. really. I mean, there's dinosaur bugs in that sucker yeah, with and, pinchers. And, that was, right. yeah. And, I think, and, 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 and so I think both of y'all been there, y'all. So like the. The tiers probably got like a hundred. It's like a lot of people on those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. When you go like in, it, it, yeah, when you first go in, it's kind of like the movies, like you know, with the this one, this one, this one, and mm -hmm. people are leaning over. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. A, B, and C. Yeah, and so yeah. they've changed the way they're built now. But that one right yeah. there, I, I was just listening to actually, it's a coincidence. I just listened to this guy talk about it. So you went there, went there, went. Um, my longest stint was at Gladiator School, Southampton. Southampton. Well, yeah, that place had a reputation. So you went to Pal Powhatan first, and then they I, sent you to Southampton. Yeah, Pal Powhatan was like classification. Yeah. So they did they did they receiving did every, there, did receiving yeah. and everything there, and then they then sent you over to Southampton. Mm. Yeah, because you were young. Because I was young, and that was a young camp. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody there was young, and it was really what was startling for me for my first experience there um, was the Chow Hall. One side was black. The other side was white. Segregated. And mm. it was it was really like it was it impressed me. It mm. left an impression on me yeah. because I didn't know where to go sit. Yeah. And my cell partner at that time was a white guy. So I went over to the table to sit with him. Right? What did he say? Look, you don't want to sit here. That's what, what he, he said. Yeah. That's what he said. He said, yo, you don't want to sit here. You know, then I, I noticed that all the guys with uh white guys with bald heads were looking at me saying like tell your friend go on the other side yeah that that feeling that he's describing is very anxious too because mm -hmm. you, you just got to picture this you're like you're like in a prison you're young you, you've never been there you came through classification you walk into this chow hall and usually there's like a hundred people in there mm -hmm. i mean it, it, it's packed and you don't know anybody mm -hmm. You're just walking in there and, and 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 you're getting your food. You're hungry, but when you go in there, you're so you're like, where do I, what do I do? You're like stuck. And then somebody guides him over to where he can sit because the fear of doing the wrong thing. You don't want to step wrong. You don't want to step wrong in there because you you because it's unknown. Yeah. And there's fear associated with the unknown anyway. And then you put yourself in this kind of like pressured situation 
as a 20 year old kid or whatever, mm -hmm. essentially locked up for something he didn't do, you know, and he's just like, uh, how do I survive this? And just eating the food, just getting your tray is a survival situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And not only, not only all of that, put it in, cause this is the nineties, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So like, you know, segregation has been, you know, it's not something that we, you know, it's just it's it's been done with, in right? Regular so you, society. Yeah, so most most people, time. you know, intermingle between races mm -hmm. and and got friends. And I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure you might have had somebody that was white that was your friend. Yeah. So it was probably yeah. like, well, damn, yeah. I yeah. You know, new rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. New rules. I, I don't know I, about. That's right. And it left that's an impression right. on that's you. Right. It did. You're you know, like, uh oh, I've really, just been really transported did. into time. time. Like I'm in some microcosm of society that doesn't even exist anymore, but it exists here. What am I gonna do? Yeah. Did they um so 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 seg you know segregated um also did they did they break did y'all break out by um like you know where you're from city you yeah know, stuff like that. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Norfolk Richmond uh DC Roanoke mm -hmm. you know uh guys from Winchester they everybody was said every yeah. was there a lot of gangs there. going on in back well, then well back then a gang was a gang was where you were from yeah and more where you from Norfolk, yeah yeah okay. Norfolk versus uh, Richmond. Yeah. You know, that was a big gang, right? That was a real And so you gang. were with Norfolk. I was with Norfolk. Uh -huh. But everybody, this is a shout out to all the Richmond guys, man. Everybody who I really gravitated to was from Richmond. Right. Mm -hmm. Everybody. And I I'd never been to Richmond. And um uh, shout out to my man long time, man. Mm -hmm. Uh white guy, Aryan Nation, who took me on his wing, man, and showed me, you know, that was he that was that your roommate? No, this this was a guy who was next door, next to the cell, right, right next to us. And he he just said, Yo, man, young blood, come on with me, man. I got you. But mm -hmm. all all the black guys said, Yo, man, don't hang around with that guy, man. But I'm they telling me that not to hang out because of the skin color. Yeah. They're not telling me that this is the dude that started me on a path of re-education, mm -hmm. who started me on a path of sobriety. Long time was a guy who who did AA, NA, he did everything. And he had his own group, a mutual aid group. He did everything. And he was the guy who said, listen, man, go, go back to school. So that's, that's, uh, that's, that's where you were like uh, initially um, introduced to introduced recovery and recovery. Oh, long introduced. time. Cool nickname too. Yeah, yeah. Did, um, did you get any kind of, um, you know, flack or repercussions from hanging I out? Got with the, uh, I got a lot. I got a lot. I got a lot. And, when I mean they call Southampton Gladiator School, they called it Gladiator School because you what the first thing they tell you is you see the biggest guy on the yard and you hit him. Mm. Right. Did you do that? I know. Yeah, that don't <laughs> that, that never seemed no. like a good idea to me no. either. I'm like, what am no. I gonna do this for? Maybe no. the guy's cool. Maybe no. I like him. Sorry, no, no, I got to no, do this. No, nah. no, no, no. I I I gravitated toward it a long time because a long time was the guy, man. He said, Man, recovery possible for you because I was still fiending. I still wanted drugs. Was there some in there at yeah, the time? There was plenty yeah, of drugs. Yeah, yeah, there was yeah. Plenty of drugs in there. <laughs> yeah. But he he kept me like he kept me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I'm telling you, this this guy showed me a new way of life without being my sponsor, mm -hmm. without doing any of those things, but just daily sending me quotes. He was the guy who gave my first blue book. Okay, you know what I'm saying? First yeah, text, my first, text, yeah, the first text. Yeah, yeah, that was my guy, man. That was my guy. Shout out to him. Why? I, why they called him long time? He was sentenced to a life sentence and a dark day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's, what's a life sentence and a dark day? It's an eclipse. Yeah. yeah, what does that mean though? It means that you do life first, mm -hmm. right? And back then you were eligible for life after 15. Yeah. Right, but a eclipse has to happen on that fifteenth year mm. for you to be eligible. So uh, like, 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 like this huh? is like it won't happen. It won't happen. Eclipse is happening. Eclipse is happening next week. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah. long time probably ain't waiting <laughs> for this. Long <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's long, long time, time getting out. Long time gonna miss this one. He gonna miss this one. Yeah. Yeah. But he's. But the judge didn't give it like that. That's just what we called it as natural being locked life. up. Natural yeah, okay. life. We called yeah. it natural. The, yeah. We would call it natural life. But he got that in. He got that in the seventies. Uh, from, from, yeah, from from a judge in Roanoke. Yeah. Can Can you imagine the judge just looking down on you and saying that he's like, <laughs> "Hey, look, I'm gonna give you life." In, in a dark day, in a dark day. <laughs> 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 like, wow. judging wow. right. Look, so. But